Today is the last day of my treatment. I feel good. I feel good about what has happened to me. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh, my wife and I had done the research on the internet and through friends that have been through it. And we suggested Fox Chase and Dr. Horowitz and the physician firmly agreed. He said, if I had it, that's where I'd go to. The Fox Chase Cancer Center Radiation Oncology Department treats more than 1,500 patients a year, nationally known for developing the new therapies that others follow. We are an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center, and what that means is that we provide the best clinical care in existence. We can just provide different levels of care that you don't see somewhere else. Everybody's treatment is unique, everybody's care is unique, and we're gonna come up with what the best plan to take care of you is. At Fox Chase, you'll discuss your personalized treatment plan with your radiation oncology team, go through the simulation and planning stages, and then get your treatments. Day to day, you'll interact with a nurse and therapist who are there to help you. So now you do get a GYN exam. Ah, okay. So, okay. I feel it's my responsibility to make sure that the patients receive the teaching that they need. You can see it in their eyes when they're looking at you, when they're asking you questions, and you know you've hit it on the mark when you see them relax. They take a deep breath and, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to get through this. The therapist that is in the, the treatment room, that's Maria, she's just been fantastic. From the minute she comes to get you, she's asking you how you've been, what did you do overnight? Uh, she knows Barbara, my wife. She's just, she's a very positive individual. I love my patients. We look at them as if they're another member of the family. And uh, in a way they are, because we know all about their family and they know about ours. Radiation therapy is using high energy x-rays or radiation to treat cancer. We want to point the x-rays at the cancer and we want to treat as little to the rest of a person as possible to decrease the side effects. Many years ago when we would talk about being precise, when we would talk about things in centimeters, we can now measure things down to millimeters and actually point one millimeters. It just enables us to deliver higher quality, better radiation, more effective doses, safer. Throughout the course of your therapy, the Fox Chase team ensures that every treatment is completely safe. Patients are coming in, they're scared, they're sick. They need to know that what we're doing is appropriate. We have so many levels of quality assurance. Right before we get to the treatment, we actually deliver the same treatment to a cuboidal phantom of solid water. Inside that, we have 1,020 little ion chambers, radiation detectors, right? So we give Mrs. Jones treatment, to this phantom in the computer. Then we take the physical phantom and irradiate it again in real life. We compare those two measurements. If they match up perfectly, we can infer that Mrs. Jones will get the appropriate treatment. Here at Fox Chase, I'm really proud of the technology, beginning with the systems that we use for planning radiation, the CT simulator, the MRI simulator. It was the first MRI simulator in North America. It's a really, really good tool for planning and shaping the radiation. Our linear accelerators, the Trilogy accelerator, the Artiste accelerator, we have the Calypso system to target the radiation for prostate cancer. We sat down with Dr. Horowitz. He explained the Calypso that would be inserted in my body and explain what it would do. Essentially what Calypso is, is we put three radio frequency beacons in the prostate and each beacon has a unique signal. We can triangulate off of those signals and we can track motion in real time. The Calypso tells it exactly where to attack. We know the prostate moves and we can't always control that motion, but because we can now see that motion, we can adjust the treatment to make sure the radiation is going where it's supposed to be and not going where it's not supposed to be. At our Buckingham facility, which is an extension of our department, we have the CyberKnife. CyberKnife really opens up a whole new door of treatment options for many patients in whom there were no options available. It also significantly shortens the overall treatment time. Because we're able to be very precise with delivering the dose, we can do it in fewer fractions and have less dose to the surrounding normal tissues, so we're able to complete the treatment course in a much shorter period of time. For many here at Fox Chase, there's even more to their mission. One of the major things that make our department here at Fox Chase stand out in the region is our commitment to clinical research. 
it's an opportunity to receive treatments that otherwise aren't available. We have the privilege of working with some of the best physicists in the United States. They basically help us design and plan the actual radiation treatments, and they actually help us develop the future radiation technologies and techniques that we're going to use. Fortes is a leading uh, institution in cancer research, uh, treatment, and prevention. Each year, if you go to the annual meetings, you see we are the top one or two institutions with most presentation on the most advanced techniques in radiation therapy. We're not just practitioners, we're leaders. The doctors here aren't sitting in the audience, they're at the lectern. In addition to your radiation oncology team, your doctors work with other cancer specialists throughout the center. Cancer is a complex disease, so when patients come to Fox Chase, they are addressed by multidisciplinary approach. So we work as a team along with medical oncology and surgical oncology. Through that process, we develop a treatment plan using all three modalities. The patient's treatment is very individualized for that person. How long is it going to take? It could take about 15, 20 minutes. My patients mean everything to me. I am told I have tunnel vision. It's just directed right to the patient, as every other therapist is exactly the same way. You develop an intimate, long-lasting relationship with a lot of these patients because you see them on a continual basis for many, many years. I tell my patients, this is what I really say, like, you're going to be stuck with me for a long time. And that's a really good thing. That's actually what makes this special and interesting. The best technology, the best minds, setting the standard in radiation therapy that others follow, and something else that sets us apart. We designed the department where it's got natural light. It's supposed to be a relatively comfortable place. What I tell people is I fully appreciate that you don't want to be here, but if you're going to be here, we're going to make this as good an experience as possible. What's nice and unique about our new renovation is we're closely integrated with the Women's Cancer Center. So if I have a female patient and in the middle of the clinical exam needs to go for a diagnostic procedure, for example, a mammogram, we can go right downstairs the same day of their visit. As a patient, I think you want to get treated in the best place uh, you can get. You want to get the best treatment. You want to get the best patient care. You want to get the best overall team. That's why I think you come to Fox Chase. Although we are an expansive, large center now with our new department, we still haven't lost that small, intimate feeling toward their care. I think it's such a combination of warmth and compassion and expertise that it's really uh, just a wonderful place. The bottom line is that you want to cure people's cancers. We have the resources, we have the technology, and that's for us and that for me the privilege of working here. They have a tradition at Fox Chase that when you finish your treatment, you go down the hall and there's a bell and you get to ring that bell. And I am so anxious to ring that bell. I feel good. I feel good about what has happened to me.